Research complete. Hey hello guys my name is Pradeep Kumar let's start a new tutorial about the Lavi plus python this is the tutorial number 6 about the string slicing part 2 part 1 we already covered okay if someone is new then go to the playlist and search about the python plus Lavi okay so now let's start yeah. okay uh, this one is same uh, the previous uh, tutorial okay let's we will modify later about this first we need to create the python code now let's minimize uh, yes and open the visual studio code here and this is our previous uh, code here now what you do let's um, copy this same and paste in the tutorial 6 this one and we need to modify here what we do and the first one is this let's um, uh, enter here capital yes let's uh, first we, you need to call the uh, string slicing uh, function let's um, create the one variable a is equal to a uh, string slicing and let's um, pass the argument for the flav view this one and uh, using the print function using the print i'm enter a dot and this is the loads of function here capitalize uh, what you do let i'm uh, enter the p first capital is p small okay but in this function it's changed p into a capital p small p to capital p let's see how it's work and uh, let's i'm pass the slicing uh, starting to uh, end this one uh, yes right click and run the python and you see the print lab view you see p is capital right now using the this function you see right now the i'm passed the argument that is the small p using this function and it's give the capital p how we can run this in the lab view it's very simple guys now first what you do comment this one and go here right now let's i will uh, create another variable that is uh, capital capital equal to you need to enter the this variable because this slicing uh, this slicing output save in this variable that's why you need to enter the this you need to enter this variable output string and dot you need to click to dot and you need to enter this capitalize okay this function uh, copy this function and paste here yes and in the return right now what you do you need to change to the capital like this capital save this code and let's minimize come to the lab view uh, yes control e yes guys first we need to change this uh, this icon this one first we need to change the path here let's control e this is the uh, previous path here uh, total five string slicing now let's modify guys and right now the name is uh, string slicing uh, part 2 maybe this one let's check uh, it is same or not part 2 underscore part 2 okay same and uh, uh let's i will open this one yeah uh, string part two yeah it's uh maybe it's uh good yeah same copy this one and you need to paste here you need to enter the part underscore two yeah and click to run well yes and save this one cross this uh yes now what we do and maybe everything is done uh yes now uh let i maintain the user's uh, string for the lab view and remember right now let i enter the p is small help of this you can easy to understand guys uh and in this one, let's click to run and see the output uh okay it gives some error that is uh, like a module d's daily research uh no module name uh okay okay maybe some uh path error okay now stop this one let's again open this file okay, press the control e and again let's check it's uh maybe maybe something going to wrong and let uh search here tute 6 okay yeah yeah tute 6 tute 6 guys i forget to uh, change the tute 6 here that's why i give the, this error <coughs> Tut6 same the Tut6 here. Uh, mm, uh, yes, maybe it's uh, okay. Now save this one. 
cross press control e yes and click to run and see the output yes guys and you see right now p is capital now uh, in the in the user string i'm entering here small p okay let's change uh, i'm going to delete the p and you can see the a is capital right now this is the amazing string slice function guys the next uh, let's open the code and right now you uh, want like i want to print this one as well as this one how we can do this yes guys it's very very important now let's first turn off our vi because otherwise it gives some error yeah turn off and what we do let i will change here first i'm um, and here uh, our out uh, sorry uh, out string comma and capital yeah let i'm uh, take in the brackets so return this uh, our out string and capital and save this one yeah and we need to modify in the lab view pod uh, open the lab view press ctrl e and what you do right now if i'm click to run this one and see what's the output yeah it gives some error that is the class type error bad argument pass okay stop and what we do let's i am um, delete this one ctrl b and uh, yes right click here go to the a cluster and use the cluster constant here right click string and use this string constant let's copy yeah copy this one and pass here uh, this one and you need to connect this return type this is your return output right click create indicator okay let's check it's uh, working or not uh, sorry uh yes yes and click to run ah uh, yes guys and you can see in this is your uh, like simple uh, string slicing okay a r d w p lab view and this one let's um, uh, first increase their size uh, maybe you uh, okay let's stop and increase their size first mm -hmm. uh, same this one uh yes uh, let's uh, modify uh, yes guys okay this is the return uh, uh, return message and click to run again and see the output ARDWP and ARDWP. It's amazing, guys. Okay, let's um, change the here. Let I'm um, entering the P uh, and the P is small. And you can see right now this one is your uh, string slicing P and this is the string slicing function capitalized. P is right now the capital. Amazing. So let's uh, work on another one that is let's I'm um, stop another, another function of the string slicing uh, that is uh, like. Uh, let's i'm uh, uncomment this one and capital we already did already done that's why let's i'm um, comment this one and i'm um, using the print a dot this is the count this one is index there have loads of things you can do this but right now what you do let's i'm using the a dot upper this one now yes this one let's remove this one capital now maybe uh, everything is done guys and what to do let's um, click to run and see the output see pradeep is capital p a r e w p l a b y e w guys now what to do let's i i want to uh, see this message in the lab view uh, what we do let's um, create another variable, uh, variable that is like uh, upper string okay this one and in the message i'm using the out string out string dot and we need to use this function upper upper this function guys yes and let's uh, i need to pass here and right now i'm using the uh, pass upper string this one okay and maybe this one is also a string that type that's why we not need to change in the lab view now what you do let's i'm comment this thing because i already that it's working well guys and save this code uh, yeah minimize and let's i'm click to run maybe it's working yes increase the size first uh okay sorry 
yes guys and click to run and you see uh, this one is your string slicing small PRD will be allow you and and when I'm enter and this one when I'm enter uh, P is capital and same thing you can see P A R D will be allow you its capital um, this is another uh, string slicing function guys yes now let's check another one let's click to stop and go to the code the next one is what you do let I will again explain you let's uncomment this one and this one we already done that's why uh, this is commented let's again print uh, sorry guys uh, print a dot right now this is the count index and let's I'm change here uh, wait a few second uh, let's I'm comment this one and remove this one yes guys and let's i'm enter here a dot and you see this is the count capitalize center okay fine they have lots of thing and what you do this is upper and let's i'm change the lower this one this is the lower string check it's how it's work uh, what you do let's i'm enter the sum character in the capital and sum is lower like uh, p a r uh, a r d then e capital p capital then l capital then a b V I W is capital like this and see how it's work uh, run the python and uh, yeah cannot import name oh, okay maybe some problem guys okay yes yes some problem uh, remove this one yes right click and click to run again and you see right now Pradeep and Lav is all are in small in our all in small guys so how you can uh, run the lab this is also give the string that's why not need to change the more and what you do let's say uncommend this one upper string and this upper let's and change this one is lower sorry not not a capital this one lower let's I'm uncomment this one uh, yes maybe it's working well guys and let's and pass the parameter here and that is uh, upper upper string okay save this one minimize uh, yeah let's and change the upper to lower string uh lower half of this you can easy to understand guys okay yeah save this one and same thing you not need to change the lab view again click to run and you see the output okay let's and change the user uh let him choose p capital e r d then e p capital then l capital e then b then v then i e w like this and see the output all are in the lower key structure it's amazing guys now let's say last one then what we do go here uh yes now what you do let's and change the uh yes uh, let's and command this one and remove this now let's we need to change we need to check the length of the, this string how we can do this now i'm at here print and in the print i'm using the length the n in the length we need to enter the uh, into the your variable that, that is a it's only define it's only give the output about the your string length many characters in this string only yeah uh, okay now let's check it's how it's work and click to run terminal and you see right now it's how we can read in the lab it's very very interesting guys please focus on this because in this you need to change in the lab code also yeah let's uncomment first this thing and what you do uh, first you need to use this uh, string slicing also as well as the length of the string then what we do let's I'm um, here that length equal to and what you do you need to use the length len this one this fun length function and you need to pass this uh, argument and this is your out string guys this one this one okay okay uh, this one and what you do yeah everything is done and you need to give the uh, you need to pass the return that is the length also uh, len yeah this one is predefined yeah let's we change the uh, this one length one okay yeah everything is done save this code and what we do and you need to come here and very important guys uh, if you if you check this 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 variable is your integer data type because it's give the length of your string and this one is string that's why we need to pass the we need to give the written type uh, data type one is string another one is numeric it's very important if you uh, want to check about this uh, data type then what you do you need to enter directly like print type 
and in the type you need to enter this variable length length one this one have help of this you can easy to find uh, which star type is this let's i'm um, uh, delete this one save this code and what you do let's i'm um, remove this one okay delete this one and let's i'm um, delete this written out control b right click here go to the uh, numeric and use this numeric constant here yes guys uh, yes, the one, first is uh, your string, second is your numeric. Yeah, uh, right click and create an indicator. This one is like you see, uh, first is your uh, string, second one is your numeric. So I'm uh, enter anything and increase the size. Mm -hmm. Same for this one. Uh, yes, and uh, let's increase. Let's increase the size okay guys everything is done yes now let's check what you do let's um, click to run and you can see it's amazing guys it's display the first string as well as the numeric or we can say integer data type guys okay pradeep lab you now what you do let's um, change the uh, message that is i meant here uh lab you research and you can see live is a, it's a 16 character okay it's count the space also yeah let's um, remove this one and let's i'm um, using the lab oh sorry lab and you see it's count the three when i give the space here and you see it's count the four when i again give the another space it's five this is the string slicing now it's complete now string slicing topic is complete guys okay and thank you so much if you really like this video please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys